Lean PCOS patients, although less in number, are equally significant because of delayed diagnosis of infertility and because they also share the burden of future complications of PCOS like diabetes. The objective of this video is to give an Ayurvedic diet plan for lean PCOS patients to help them maintain their weight, improve gut symptoms and thereby mark the beginning of their reversal of PCOS. Welcome to Ameya Ayurveda YouTube channel. This is Dr. Seema, practicing Ayurvedic gynecologist in RT Nagar, Bangalore. Before we get into the actual diet plan, let me give you a list of vegetables, fruits, grains and dairy products that are good for lean PCOS patients. Vegetables that are good for lean PCOS patients are raw banana, banana stem, pumpkin, lotus stem, pointed gourd, yam, but you should avoid this if there is excess bleeding, ridge gourd, ash gourd, bottle gourd, palak leaves, amaranthus leaves, beetroot, beans and both yellow and green cucumber. Any regional and seasonal fruits that are sweet and cooling in nature reduce pitta and are ideal for intake by PCOS patients. The fruits that I recommend are amla, pomegranate, chikku, apple, melons, dates, dry grapes, ripe sweet mangoes, guava and pears. Grains that help in maintaining gut health of lean PCOS patients are barley, split and whole moong, moth bean, rajmudi rice and broken wheat. If you have access to organic fresh cow milk and you prepare the other milk products at home, then there are certain products that you can use as lean PCOS patient. Dairy products that help lean PCOS patients are butter, buttermilk and ghee for everyday use in lean PCOS patients. Milk can be used from the initial stages of the disease, provided there are no IBS-like symptoms or lactose intolerance where these issues have to be fixed with Ayurvedic treatment first and then gradually we can introduce milk. Curd should be avoided initially and even later frequency should be kept once or twice a week, that too for lunch. This diet plan begins at 8 in the morning, given that you wake up in between 6 and 6.30 in the morning. And we begin the diet plan with a dry grape decoction. To prepare this decoction, you'll have to need 1 4 teaspoon of cumin seeds, 8 to 10 dry grapes and half an inch of fresh pounded ginger with 100 ml water. Reduce it to 50 ml by giving a good boil on medium flame. Filter and drink warm on empty stomach. Make sure to eat the dry grapes along with your breakfast. Start your breakfast at 9 in the morning with 2 almonds and 1 date and both of these should be soaked overnight and peel the skin of almond. We'll give you three each options of breakfast, lunch and dinner. So the breakfast options that I prescribe in my PCOS patients who are lean are Rava Upma cooked with rice rava, carrot, beans and coriander leaves. Second option is rice dosa with coconut milk and jaggery side dish. This is an excellent breakfast option that pacifies both vata and pitta dosha. The third is avalakki bath which is made of poha and split moong. If you have heavy bleeding in every period and you have very low body weight, it is ideal that with breakfast every day you take moong peya. To prepare this, boil 2 tablespoons of split moong in 200 ml of water, a small piece of ginger and 2 pinches each of black pepper and cumin powder. Now coming to the lunch, have your lunch anywhere between 1 to 1.30 in the afternoon. In my lean PCOS patients, I make sure to include rice every day for their lunch. Use rajmudi or unpolished or single polished rice for this. The first option for lunch is red rice with ridge gourd, tove or dal. The second option is red rice with amla, tambuli. It is a gooseberry and buttermilk coconut based dish. The third is red rice with beans hasi kairasa. This is again a coconut based beans dish. The reason we include buttermilk and coconut is to maintain the gut health because many of my patients present either with acidity or with IBS-like symptoms when they have lean PCOS. The most important thing here is that the buttermilk should be fresh and home prepared. It should not have turned sour nor should it be refrigerated. Now coming to dinner, it is ideal if you have your dinner in between 7 and 7.30 in the evening. The first dinner option is broken wheat and split moong pongal added with 1 teaspoon of ghee. The second option is rice roti with grated gourd vegetable and gourd vegetable peel chutney. And the third option is beetroot rice again added with 1 teaspoon of ghee. It is ideal to replace one third portion of your lunch with fruits 
fruits from the list that we have already mentioned and it is ideal to replace one third portion of your dinner with vegetables which are steamed and stir fried with mild spices. This diet plan helps to reduce vata and pitta and improve gut health and thereby significantly contributing in reversal of PCOS. One should also follow positive lifestyle, sleep awake cycle and pay attention to keeping oneself calm. Music